One of the biggest mysteries in Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3 is the collage of cartoon characters that we can see in the safe house at the beginning of the game. In this video I will give two things this could mean and some reasons for them. So if you're interested in understanding what this is all about then be sure to watch this video all the way through. The first thing that this collage could mean is Joey Drew's intention at his studio. So we have to remember the reason why we're even playing as Henry in this studio is because Joey Drew invited him over. What we found out so far while playing the game is that Joey Drew did some pretty crazy experiments in the studio and it seems as if everything is coming together based on Joey Drew's actions. So given all of that, that could mean that whatever Joey Drew was planning in the first place has to do with this collage that we can see in the safe house. My initial thoughts were that Joey Drew wants to create or summon some kind of ultimate cartoon character that's based on an amalgamation of all the cartoon character parts that he already has. Observing the collage very carefully, we can see that it's made up of a bunch of different parts of Boris, Bendy, and Alice Angel. We can see that each of the body parts are from each of these characters in one of their respective posters. What Joey Drew wanted to do with this creature is really unclear. We do know that the studio was down in the dumps, not releasing animations on time, and going way over budget with expansion of the studio in the 30 years prior to the events of the game. And we also know that the studio kind of resembles some sort of amusement park. It's got a merch area and a bunch of different fun areas that people could travel around in and have a lot of fun. And experience some exciting times. So perhaps this amalgamation of cartoon characters is what Joey Drew wants to create to give a sense of excitement in this amusement park of sorts. Given what we can see in the actual collage, I'm not quite sure how well that would have gone down. If anything, it would be rather scary. But we do know from the audio recordings that we've been listening to throughout the first three chapters that Joey Drew was kind of going around the bend anyway. So we really don't know what he would be thinking when making this cartoon. It kind of reminds me of the story of Frank Frankenstein who was created with a whole bunch of larger human parts and many people think that Frankenstein came to life through some sort of lightning energy passing through its body. Maybe Joey Drew is trying to do a similar thing except instead of surging lightning through its body, he's going to surge ink through the body. This fits in with what we saw in the beginning of the game and in chapter 3 with all of the cartoon corpses lying upright on tables with ink pipes coming out of them. Although we've only seen one ink pipe connected to an ink source in chapter 1 to my knowledge. The other ones are just sitting around in a pool of ink or around a pool of ink. For those who can't quite remember, the ones I'm referring to are the ones near Alice Angel's quarters. Speaking of Alice Angel, the second thing that this could represent is Alice Angel's intention for herself. So we do remember that Alice Angel was collecting a whole bunch of cartoons in order to find the perfect ones to make herself perfect. So maybe, just maybe, this collage is representing what Alice Angel is trying to do with all of the perfect cartoons around her, which would be fusing them with herself. Remember in chapter one again with that Boris corpse lying on the table connected to the ink pipe, he was missing a heart with his chest ripped open. So if that was a perfect Boris, then Alice Angel could have killed this Boris in order to harvest its heart for herself. We've also seen Alice Angel go after other characters such as the Butcher Gang, so she does need more than just a heart. With the Butcher Gang, we've seen that she might actually be trying to collect the eyes of Piper, the arms and mouth of Stryker, and perhaps the neck of Fisher. This is just my early observation, this could be completely wrong, but they are my first guesses. We also don't know what she needs in terms of internal organs other than with Boris and the heart. She collects the thick ink of the searchers to keep herself together. If anything, we definitely know for sure that Alice Angel really wants the ink hearts of the Butcher Gang as that is our final mission in Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3. So it's entirely possible that all she wants from all of the perfect cartoons are their hearts. This collage that we can see on the wall of the safe house is just a representation of Alice Angel collecting the hearts of different characters. Although we've only seen evidence of her trying to go after Boris and the Butcher Gang rather than Bendy, who she's deadly afraid of, and Alice Angel, who she is the only copy of that we've seen so far. Though I have said in previous theories that Alice Angel might actually be trying to power up the second ink machine to create more ink cartoons to have a better chance to create a perfect tune. And in that theory, I mentioned that it's not entirely unlikely that every time you power on the ink machine, you create a different cartoon. So Alice may be trying to constantly create cartoons to get the right ones and also have a chance at getting the right 
perfect ones. And the ones who don't make the cut, well, they get cut. Of course, we all know the purpose of this is for Alice Angel to achieve perfection, that is her true goal in the game. So whether we will see this happen or not is still yet to be seen. After all, it's still quite likely that Alice Angel is a human ink worker trapped in an inky prison of a body, kind of like Sammy Lawrence and the likes of Norman Polk, who many believe is the projectionist. As a matter of fact, it's entirely likely that Susie Campbell, who was Alice Angel's voice actor, was completely obsessed to the point of getting back her role as Alice Angel, to the point where she, instead of Joey, may be the one whose actions affected what happened to the studio in the 30 years prior to the events of the game. Tap this video to find out more about that, or check out these videos which were picked just for you. If you're new, remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more bendy and horror game theories that actually make sense. Prodigies, at the end of it all, this cartoon collage could come down to Boris and Henry being bored in the safe house. I hope these videos help to expand on how you think. See ya!